Hi guys, this is Stephanie here. Welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. And those of you who have been here before, welcome back. Today my tutorial will be about drugstore makeup and it will be about uh, a fall look. So if you like the look that I have uh, and you would like to try it for yourself, then stick around and see what it is that I do to achieve this look. Once again, thank you all for joining me and stay tuned. Here I'm using an eyeshadow primer. It's used to uh, prevent your eyeshadows from fading. And I'm also going to use a technique with some um, scotch tape for the smoky eye. This will um, define the smoky eye more. Um, and this is a technique that is used, especially if you're a beginner, it will help you in making sure that your smoky eye comes out um, perfectly. Also, um, my camera uh, went out, so I got the first coat of my transition color on, which was the brown I showed, and then I put a um, purple in the um, lid portion of my eyes. Um, and now I'm going to put some gold in the corners of my eye to um, highlight my corners um, so that they um, stand out a little more. And now I'm going to place some of that same gold across the lower um, lids of my eye uh, as well as in the center of my eyelid um, for a pop of color. And making sure that I blend out the harsh lines. I'm going to go in with a little more of that dark purple to um, in the crease to ensure that it is dark enough so that it shows up well when uh, the tape is pulled off and make sure I blend those lines in. I'm going to take uh, some light cream and put it um, over top of my lid at my um, brow line. And be sure to blend that out as well. Go back in and make sure I um, have enough of that gold in. So I'm putting a little bit more on going to take off the tape and see how it's defined on the edges uh, with that smoky eye. Now I'll go in and finish up my um, lower lids uh, putting that, the same um, colors in on the bottom um, and smoking those out as well by using the dark purple, the light purple as well as the gold on the bottom and then falling up behind um, that after I've um, placed enough that I'm satisfied with on the bottom lids, I will go in behind um, and smudge it out a little bit. Um, one side of my eye, um, it does not have enough color all the way down to the, the point of where my lower lid reaches uh, my top. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit more on that eye uh, to make sure that it's defined better. And you see I'm checking it there and there I'm adding a little bit more of the uh, dark purple to smoke it out a little bit more so that the, the bottom and the top lids are connected. Now I'm using their uh, Rimmel um, eyeliner. It's waterproof in my waterline. And this is to open my eye up a little more. And I will leave a description of all of the products that I use in the description box below. So please check there. Uh, and if you have any questions or um, comments, please be sure to leave them in the uh, comment section and I will respond. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline um, liquid liner to um, line my top lid. 
and give me a little bit of a um, cat eye but not much because with my eye shape it just doesn't look as well <laughs> sides and it's easier to pull the eye back like I'm doing um, to get more of a slant and if you make a mistake it's easy to clean up with a q-tip and just correcting it uh, and putting a little more color on the lids now it's time to prime my face um, with the Maybelline baby um, I think it's baby face, I forget. It reduces your pores, keeps your from shining through your makeup. Now I'm using the L'Oreal True Match. Um, it's a 9-8. I mean, excuse me, it's an N8. And that is a uh, cappuccino. out with my beauty blender now I'm going to put on uh, a highlighter and that is the um, concealer by LA girl pro concealer and that is an almond I'm using that cutie bender to just um, I blot it out so that I don't lift up my foundation and putting it on your parts of your face that attracts more light so that would be your cheeks uh, the bridge of your nose your forehead your chin and your cupid's bow now I'm going in behind that with my LA girl LA Girl Pro Concealer and Chestnut um, to uh, contour my nose um, below my cheekbones and around my hairline and I'm blending that out uh, with my tart brush And for my nose, I'm going to use a smaller brush and then use my fingers uh, to make sure that it's rubbed in uh, pretty good to conceal my nose and then back, go behind that as well with the Beauty Blender. And I didn't have a drugstore um, powder, so I'm using the Ulta powder to um, seal in my highlight now I'm putting a little bronzer on my cheeks um, to define my face and up under my chin and as well as around my highlighter it's a, a powder to set what I had done with the um, pro concealer ch and chestnut um, I'm using the um, mascara L'Oreal uh, Miss Magne Rock in voluminous it's waterproof black I'm going to add falsies at the end, but I actually forgot to um, film that when I added those. I had my camera off, unfortunately. And for my lips, I'm going to line them with uh, Wet n Wild. A uh, lip planner. I 
And since my eyes were so dark, I decided to go with a lighter uh, lip. And it's a NYX uh, gloss for my lips on top of the, the liner. I really love that color. And now I'm going to take off the powder that I put on to um, hold my concealer in place and put in some put on some blush, the Milani Bake Blush. Uh, it's number nine, Red Vino. And I'm going behind that with some powder to um, seal in all of my makeup. And then a little highlighter. Make sure to put some on your nose to attract light. And then I'm going behind that with some NYX uh, spray to set it all. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed. Please comment, thumbs up, subscribe, and come back to see me again. Thank you.